Hello, okay, I've actually been spending most of the day on this. I was in a guitar shop a little three minutes by my house, and the guy gave me this, what is sometimes called a toy guitar. I have another one over there that I got for two dollars. This one, the guy just gave it to me for free. I went to another store, Long and McQuaid, and I uh, bought the strings, which are not too expensive if you can't afford the strings for the guitar. You probably can't afford food. Um, so anyways, uh, so now I have, uh, I've got it set up here. This is called the headstock. And you can see, if you can see, there are holes where these little tangs or whatever pegs used to be. Um, and so I was doing some research on the internet and most ukuleles are tuned to G, C, E, and A. And the baritone is tuned the same as the first four strings of the guitar. The first string being, if you left hand, or, uh, well, this is right handed technically, but it's going to the left. Odd. So the lowest string is the first string. That would be E. The second string would be B. So E, B, G, D. And I was actually able to use my guitar tuner. You see, this thing, um, the turdy thingies are kept in place by screws. And you can screw the screws tighter so it stays tighter and it stays in tune. I have the feeling this is going to go out of tune a lot, so... It already sounds out of tune, and I didn't even check. Uh, so... Let's see here. Yeah, that's out of tune. So... And it's so hard to tune this thing. Okay. Uh, and then... Whatever the... Whoa, that's way off. Okay. Uh, how do we do this? Away! There we go. So... That's basically what it's supposed to sound like. And I don't know if the camera can even pick that up. I'll do it later. So that is supposed to sound like... How do I put this down? Okay. Ah, uh, my strap's all messed up. No! And usually I use a pick with this guy, and usually I'm in a different chair, but okay, so this is guitar. So that's the six strings, E, A, D, G, B, E. So the baritone guitar would, uh, ukulele would go. Which, if we go and get that ukulele, So let's do this once again. The last four strings. And then you hear it on the ukulele and it sounds like... 
So more or less the same. And so um, with the guitar, one of the very fundamental, I don't know how to hold this, one of the very fundamental chords is the D chord. Sorry, I'm having trouble here. Whee! That would be that. That's D, that uses the first four strings, and then A. Like I said, I usually use a pick. So, those are actually the same on the baritone ukulele. Let's see if we're even still in tune after all of that. Uh, please don't fall down. Okay. So, so here we go. Hold down those three. Press down on that. Sounds kind of cool. And then A would be, let's just hold it from this side. rest now. I'm not going to pick it up again for this video, uh, so I don't have to worry about it going out of tune. And I strung that by myself. So I bought the strings, I got the, I got the case of the thing for free, I bought the strings and I strung it myself. And I think someone please recognize that I worked for this. <laughs> I'm so sympathetic to, uh, you know, uh, okay, so, so that would be the A, Just a short video, and now I got the bug for the guitar, and that's what the next video will be, unless I fall asleep.